Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to Rampage Nights. So, ah, uh, insane mode. Will I be able to do it? I don't know. Good luck me, I guess. We'll get there. Maybe I'll get lucky for once. Honestly, last night we had a fairly good shot, and then I screwed it over by leaping into the pit like a dumbass. Let's see, if I played Rogue Legacy, yep, got a full playthrough of playthrough of uh, regular mode. On my YouTube channel. Actually did it co-commentated with my brother, which was a lot of fun. Might go back and do uh, Season 2 with New Game Plus at some point. Probably not with him, though, because he's moved out, and I'm probably going to move out, too. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Healing potions. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So what else we got around here? I'm looking for a graveyard area. Really, as long as I can get a golden chest before I'm, I'm out of the forest, that puts us in a really good spot. Unfortunately, the chances of that happening, surprisingly low. Makes me sad. Okay, let's just stay away from these guys for a second. Nope. Now, I know you can assassinate a guy if you're dire Ow. directly... Uh, uh, if they're on the ground and you're stealthed. I know it works otherwise, but it doesn't always, and it's always confusing to me, exactly what the trigger is for assassinations, unfortunately. Oh, well. Could be worse. Uh, I'll take the bomb. I don't really have much of a use for it, though. Let's see, will I stream it? Yeah. Pretty much at this point, I, I'm i actually getting kind of the point where I'm only going to be streaming mostly roguelikes and, like, multiplayer stuff. Uh, I can stream a lot of other things on, like, request, but for the most part, a lot of people aren't particularly interested in, like, say, when I'm playing Endless Legend. That tends to get pretty piss-poor views on my channel. Uh, so stuff like an Endless Legend doesn't seem, you know, particularly good for me to stream. Um, what else is bad? Uh, let's see. The City Constructor puzzle game that I did the other week. That didn't do well. Ooh, ooh, golden chest? Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is get big bad... to fall off the edge. Okay, let's go over here. This has become a bad situation. There we go. Okay, so unfortunately I've got double jump and some other things. So I'm a little bit worried about that one. Oh, what? Oh, it's because he was jumping. Because he was jumping, his shield was protected. I didn't know that was a thing. That's interesting. An assassin can only un assassinate enemies on the ground. Oh, I know that one. It's just sometimes he he will do it kind of like... I don't know what the exact trigger is when they're on the ground, because he won't do it 100% of the time. Okay. There we go. Ooh! Iron boots. Ooh! Magic carpet. Unfortunately, that makes me slow. But we don't have to worry about falling into pits anymore, so I'm not entirely sure if that's not the end of the world. Hey, Foxy got a gigantic key. Awesome. I want to get more people for that one. That's That one's going to be good. Unfortunately, I don't know when it goes... Open beta. Well, I think it's already open beta, actually. Or, no, it's closed It's closed beta right now. I don't know when the NDA lifts. That's that's my wa wonder. Because I really want to play a lot of a lot of that one. That one's going to be fun. Nice and ca casual MOBA, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, well, not the end of the world. Yeah, Wander start liking Smite. Nope, probably never will like Smite. But I will really like Gigantic. And we'll be playing that one a lot as soon as I can. Uh, can I play Don't Starve? I I could maybe do a solo st uh, stream of it. A uh, solo recording. I did it once a long time ago. Chances are it's just going to be a matter of, like, wrangling bird. And maybe Foxy if she's around for some Don't Starve together. Because nobody else seems to be interested in it. And as such, Bird and I have kind of, like, petered out on the game pretty hard. Just because. Okay, so nice thing is, we don't have to worry about anything while we're up here. So I can just scum the shit out of these guys. Useful. Really useful. Oh, well, we're back. Can I move him up? Nope, can't move him up. 
Okay, I was really hoping I'd be able to launch him off into the distance. Okay, goodbye, Trejo. Screw you. Why is the door? Ow. Could not see that light in the darkness. I'm glad that uh, going into this area, we only got poisoned. Getting a particularly nasty curse right now would be brutal. Are we? Is that it? All right, guess that's it. Nice. Oh, right, I don't have to worry about anything. And we get the Dwarfing Contraption. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I'll go with the Cudgel. Now, Dirty Medicine. Do we want the Boots of the Wind? Nope, Boots of the Wind. Okay, so my movement speed is permanently stuck at this. Magic Carpet does not go any faster. Well, that makes parts of my life easier. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we've got a dwar Dwarven Contraption. Gives me a good way of denying the Trejo. Now, if I can just kill this one, then we're good to go. The other one will be dead shortly. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, it bounced off of the wall. I guess I guess that is a thing that can happen. Okay. Because the thing is, if I can... Damn it. If I can just kill this guy, then taking out the big dude's no problem. Because it's super easy to just stun lock these guys and get them out of the way. Okay. Because I've, I've, like, mastered fighting the big dudes fairly effectively here. They're actually fairly predictable. But sometimes the timing on it is harder than I'd like it to be. Okay. Emergency dirty medicine time. Okay, we've got running fever disease. Well, you know what? This is not a situation where running fever screws me. That's a good feeling. Okay. Seriously. Makes my life so much easier, having this magic carpet. We do have to worry about a couple of things, but still. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, demonic mixture. No, we don't care about the demonic mixture. We 100% care about the holy water. There we go. Okay, and everything else is meaningless to me. Ah! Okay. So that means we can get rid of our curses. Are, are we going to get cursed? I don't know. But this way we don't have to worry about it. Good feeling. I'm thinking about Fallout 4. I mean, not right now. Speaking of, need to get back to Fallout. For my playthrough. It's been a couple weeks since I've streamed it, and I need to go back to it. There's a massive technical problem that screwed the screwed the Let's Play, and I need, I need to finish that series. Okay. Perfect. Oh, Demon in the Holy Water. Ow. So... You... I'm not sure how much I want to do that. So the thing is, I don't want to take the holy water immediately. That said, that does sound like a really good idea. You know what? Let's do it. And if it's a bad curse, we can get rid of it immediately. Curse of the Pyroman. You know what? I can live with that one. I can live with that one pretty effectively. So we got bonus vitality from that. Not the greatest, but still. Yeah, so Paho, I'm I'm going with the curse because I've got the ability to remove it. <sighs> Chad is Chad is right about that one. I'm hoping I can get a good magic spell to um bust up a lot of these exploded barrels, or if I get cursed for an um animation. Both of these are fairly acceptable, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So we do have to worry about shields. Nope, we don't have to worry about shields anymore. Okay. Let's just run away for a bit. Oh, you know what? We don't want a spell uh, to destroy them. It. I find myself hard-pressed to desire any spell apart from Dwarven Contraption, in retrospect. Yeah, so I'll just deal with it for a little while. Please don't throw a throwing weapon at me. Good. Beautiful, really. Okay. But yeah, staying away from a bunch of explodey barrels is is alright and fine. Okay, oh. Well, let's just beat the crap out of this guy. Looks like we're good, and we'll pick up a bunch of daggers. So, I don't know what I can get. The really I want to get here. The explodey barrels are obviously a concern. I don't know if the enemies will automatically hit them or not. I don't know. Interesting question. 
But yeah, if I could get explosion immunity, we're one golden sucker. It's just a matter of getting there. Let's box one of you guys. Might as well just beat the tar out of whomever I can. Uh, let's see. And just keep using the... There we go. That's what I was looking for. Nice little quick assassination. No stress. No worries. Just death. I'm getting really good at this game, honestly. I'm worried about the whole Shadow World area. But who knows? Maybe it's like a whole different level or something. I don't know. Either way, let's kill this guy by throwing an explosive barrel at him. Beautiful. Okay. I think Chad is arguing about Fallout 4, which, you know, alright. Works for me. I, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm actually looking... I'm not looking anything up as far as the Fallout games go. I don't want to know anything about them. That's a lot of explodey bits. Luckily, it's a lot of explodey bits that doesn't change what I do. Sure, I gotta get out, get him out of here before I can farm this area, but who cares? We're getting plenty of food. We're getting plenty of health. Yeah! And with my ability to avoid damage now, going up, I think we're in a good position here. faster but it really doesn't make much of a difference okay so we got another shield man see this is part of the reason why I don't mind picking up the uh, getting curse of the demo man curse of the demo man there's a lot of things that make you immune to explosions which is really handy but there's also uh, a lot of ways you can use explosions to your general advantage so I'm okay with that though That was very close. That barrel spawned right where I didn't want it to go. That is, that is a concern. I will I will grant that one. That uh, that there are very real possibilities that I'm going to explode myself here. That said, they do actually give me the opportunity for more money. Also, it's just dark, so it's not a bad curse. If I can find another, if I can find another thing. that reduces, uh, removes curses, then we pretty much know what we're going to do. But I don't know. But yeah, this gives me a lot of ammunition to effectively just kill these guys. Which is a really good feeling. Unfortunately, I'm still going to get smacked around a little bit. Kind of wish I could get the magic jelly bean. Getting the magic jelly bean would be fancy. Fortunately, no dice. Ah, uh, do we want bombs? No, I'm gonna use the daggers and stuff like that. Okay, what else we got here? A little bit of healing, a lot of... Mm, nope, we don't want to do this yet. I don't know what this does. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna hit it if I try and do a slide attack, and I don't want to test it. Wow. That was a lot of pottery destroyed in one very short period of time. Feels good. Ooh, cool. Uh, wares. Okay. Swordmaster's belt. We'll pick that one up. Gold jaw we don't want. Now we need a sword. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Assassination attack replaces stomp whenever it's off cooldown. Yeah, so, Grey Death, I understand that, but that's not always the case. Like, it, it sometimes just goes for a stomp, and I'm not really sure why. Okay, so this is why Curse of the Demo Man is awesome. Missed there. That's okay. Curse of the Demo Man crossed with a bunch of explodey barrel. Uh, yeah. Curse of the Demo Man crossed with the um, with the magic carpet pretty much makes for just infinite mirth and killing those guys. Okay, do we get anything cool from this room? The answer looks to be a very depressing no. I was really hoping I'd actually get something useful from that, and no dice. Oh well. The carpet... It is not an enemy. I don't even know. Okay, we don't really care about the teleportation thing. That doesn't really help me. Do we get anything cool up here? The answer is no. And it's kind of a requirement to destroy all of these barrels just because some of them actually have money or other items in there. Have ever gotten animation and exploded barrel curse at the same time? Hell yeah! It's actually pretty benign. That was close. I always do a dodge roll at the end, 
at the end of every one, just because you never know. Missed with that one, but that's okay. Would rather miss than hit to ho uh, get hit terribly. Whoop. Don't want to get poisoned here. Oh, I got stuck on my own platform. I was wondering about that. I'm never going to capture anybody. There we go. Took it long enough. Luckily, the mana regen on the, on the box is, like, insanely fast. I could cast it all night long if I wanted to. No daggers for you. No poison. No poison. No poison. I want none of your business. I'm going to box you up. The other guy's going to die in, like, no... No time at all, so why worry? Box. Okay, that didn't work. Got him. He'll die in seconds, and then you'll die next. The nice thing is the box also makes fighting the very last enemy just comically easy. So what else we got here? Oh, right, I don't get the movement speed bonus. Or do I? Yeah, I do think I can get a movement speed, a horizontal movement speed bonus while rolling, while on the carpet, which makes no sense, but it works. I don't know. I don't know. The half skeletons break the box? They shouldn't? I actually don't know if it kills anything. Oh. Welcome to here. Oh, we've destroyed his food. Wait, is he not? Is he not coming? He doesn't feel like coming. Alright, that's useful. Usually he just spawns. Not today, apparently. <coughs> What's this up here? Apple? Looks like an apple. Okay. Well, we get some money. Don't care about the cleaver. Because that doesn't really help me at all. And keg. Yeah, you can drink straight from the, um... You can drink drink straight from the keg. I will keep that in mind for when I'm playing as the, um... As the pirate. Because that could actually be really good. Ah, thirsty. I was playing... I was playing, uh, D&D &D right before this. Which was a lot of fun. Let me tell you guys. I was going to stream it, but I was in the middle of uploading videos. I was not prepped for today. Oh, that... Okay, so they block those. Good to know. Does a cleaver count as a sword? Nope. Probably counts as an axe. Honestly. Okay, let's take his shield out. Just smack these guys around a bunch. Take out Skull Man. And everything else kind of falls into place. Looking forward to pi uh, picking up and using that golden chest there. Don't know what I'm going to use it for exactly, but still. Come on, you. Tonight, you dine in Valhalla. Except for it's not actually Valhalla. Also, oh, magic magic jelly bean. Hell yeah, okay. Shield breaker. Yes. Still not a sword, but whatever, don't care. But now my basic attacks just... Uh, destroy... Uh, my basic attacks will destroy shields. Good. What did the campaign contain? Uh, what campaign are we talking about again? I forget. I've actually forgot. Oh, the D&D campaign. Actually, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be going on, uh... Totally forgot about, uh, D&D. Uh, it's actually gonna be going up on YouTube probably sometime this weekend. I have to figure out how to edit it or something. I don't exactly know the process. But once, once I, like, figure out the, the process or, like, a thumbnail or something, I will actually be putting all of the footage on YouTube, and then the rest of it will just get streamed regularly. I just was not prepared for it at all today. It's kind of one of those, like, cons semi-consistent things for me, where it's like, sometimes I just have things happen, and it's just like, I'm not prepared for this. Like, tomorrow there's Wildstar. I don't know if we're actually doing Wildstar. We are going to do it yesterday, but, uh, yes... Damn it. Yesterday... The queues were like two hours long, so it's like, never mind on the whole Wildstar thing. Actually, you know what? Let's pick him up and throw him into an explosive barrel. Kills him! Cool! I didn't know if that was actually going to work or not, but still. But, uh, no. My, so, kind of feels weird, because the, oh, oh, okay. Interestingly enough, boxes that you throw into a wall directly, uh, exploding barrels that you throw into a wall directly above you. Don't explode in your face. That could have sucked. Okay. Wildstar, sad. Lost potential is lost. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know how, how playing Wildstar will work. It's probably just going to be kind of like a pseudo-party thing for me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, whoops. Alright. I don't know who else there is. There's that guy. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm picking up stones. Okay, fine. Let's just chuck the stones. I don't really have a whole, a whole lot of use for them. But I might as well get them out of my out of my way so I don't have to worry about my daggers. There we go. Perfect. And he is gone. No damage there. This was a glorious room. <laughs> Cheap strats. Nice. Yeah! Um, but yeah, so it's actually kind of weird D&D-wise, and I think this makes me immune to spikes. Yeah, it does. Um, because it's DM'd by my brother, participated by me, Shell, my fiancé, and Bird. I feel like I need to get, like, one more person from my D&D group to do, to do this campaign. Because it's, it's, it's weird to be doing it with, you know, pretty much nothing but people that are, like, directly related to me or close enough, right? Right. Okay, so I got Shield Breaker. That's useful. What kind of cheesy shit can I get into here? Oh, hey. I can get into that cheesy shit. He was charging for me. Okay, I'm just gonna roll really fast over here. We'll wait for the crowd to get close, and then we'll do the same thing. God, this is such a good curse. Ham one up. See? Works gloriously. Nope. Went the wrong direction. Okay, you are going directly underneath me. Sir. Oh. I also move... I also move faster when jumping through the air. Good to know. I will keep that in mind. I'm a little bit worried. Yep. He hit it. Oh well. I don't need that much health. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to constantly be generating health here, but you know, couple rooms where I take damage because I didn't tactically do it right. Whatever. I'll be okay. Actually, you know what? I can. I can just do that. Assuming I can get this man in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. Oh shit! There's more. There's more people in in this room than I thought there were going to be. Okay. No Trejo. No Trejo, senor. Just gotta... Actually, you know what? Did I box the right one? No. I did did not box the right Trejo. That's okay. I should be able to assassinate him. Nope, just kicked him in the face. See, that? that's the thing. I don't know how boxing Trejo works. Uh, let's see. Somebody commented earlier that the half-skeletons break the box. Actually, no, they die instantly. They only have 20 HP. Box skeletons do not have much health left. So, you just end up, uh, insta-giving them. This is a long room. I want to get somebody with a box here. <laughs> did I block him with a box? I did block him with a box. Interception! Boop! Oh, that didn't work. There we go. I could get a nice little assassination there. I don't even know. Uh, how, lo how much longer will I be playing? Uh, let's see. I don't know what time it is, but I'm I'm going to operate under the assumption that it's probably going to be like two, three hours from now. Before I'm done. Okay. Last one left. Let's take him out. Or not. I guess we all have to just take him out by wailing on him. You know what? No, I think the swordsman belt actually works with all weapons. That's good to know. Last you checked, you can move and attack at the same time on the carpet. Yeah, but it's the same speed as normal. Like, you, you're not... You're still doing kind of like the weird slow, like, jitter forward, which is unfortunate. But not terrible. Okay. So we're cursed, but none of them are bad. They're just kind of the, the awkward non-curses that you don't... I don't generally worry about. Our health is looking great. I could go back for a healing potion, but I'm probably gonna get healed with the next couple of rooms. I've got two lives, and I can't insta-die. So, I think we're good. I don't know if we're going to win or not. What do we got? Curse the donkey. Still not in a position that I need to get rid of these curses. Honestly, if I can uh, find a demon shrine or a demon potion to actually have it give me something good and then clear my curses, mmm. Though with my luck, it'll just give me something like tainted blood, which I don't care too much about either. This game needs a curse that turns your health bar into Zelda hearts. That'd be funny. 
Yeah, it switches over to you a uh, uh, switches you over to a Zelda health system. That'd be that'd be great, actually. I'd I'd love that. Oh god. Screw you. That was not nearly as effective as I wanted it to be. So unfortunately, these knights are kind of aggressive, and they don't have a good tell. Oh, I thought I. Oh, he blocked it. I forgot. So we have to be very careful about these guys. Luckily. Luckily, I've got a fairly good solution. Come on, assassinate him. There, there we go. Okay, oh, we're not done yet. Of course we're not done yet. Well, that's fine. We got, we've got the box. We've got the beautiful, beautiful box. Assassination, there we go. Alright, and bam! That didn't work. Of course it didn't work. He had a shield up. Okay, I'm just gonna let that man just keep taking damage. Take this one out. At least there's no time. There's no timed element to this, so I don't have to worry about it. And blow him up. Okay, glorious. What kind of HP can I get here? I didn't get healing. Unfortunately, my damage has not gone up in a long time. And, like, I'm I'm very reliant on a, uh, a lot of trickery to kill things. I guess my damage has gone up very slightly since, since the first. Okay, hopefully these are pretty much the only enemies that we run into. I really wish enemies would actually take falling damage. Trying to think. What do I want to do to this guy? Now if I toss him there and they explode... Hey, Glorious! Thought so. I was only going to end up fighting those guys because it was a massive trap room. Oh, whoops. Must have picked up a rock. I thought for a second I could pick up a chair and do stuff with it. And the answer is no. Oh, well. Let's see what else we got around here. We've got a decurse thing. I don't know what the ass disease does. So I'm just going to assume it's not a big deal. Okay. So we got a demon shrine. Probably going to get cursed here. Well, we're not in a bad way. We haven't fought the boss yet. You know, I'm still not sure if there's really a... You can't pick up the chairs. Okay, so maybe the rock was just in the way. I'm really not sure if I want to do this. Because I'd have to fight stuff. There's no guarantee I'm going to get anything good. In fact, my track record has been garbage. Hmm. Guys, do I do it? Do I not do it? I don't know. Wait, no, I know what we're doing. I'll be back. Oh, shoot. I don't have a choice. Well, we have Curse of Animation. Alright, still benign. Or benign enough that I don't give a shit. Okay, so now all those explodey barrels are hardly an issue for me. We're not immune to explosions, unfortunately. Oh, crap. I was really trying to kill that head of his. Okay. So let's... Lo lock you away for the time being. Beat the tar out of you. Beautiful. I'll leave the bomber man for the end. Let's see what other shit we can get into here. Just gotta be careful. Oh, a lot of dudes with shields. Now we've got... We've got our thing just automatically taking out shields if I attack. But you know what? We might as well just lock people up. <laughs> Ow. God. Damn it. I was doing so well. I was doing so well to tactically not take damage here. Oh, well. Oh, staying away from the explosions. Okay. Is that it? We done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Yeah. I was, re I was really hoping... Uh, I was really hoping that I'd actually be able to... What I wanted to do was, is it just going to be nothing but animated barrels? I guess it is. All right. I'm just going to be sitting here swinging. They're not going to be able to make the trip across. They might be able to throw daggers at me, though. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we can get our health back. And fight animated chairs. And shit. 
Okay, you're coming with me. Interesting, they don't take damage like that. Cool. Now, did I take damage in here? I don't actually remember if I did or not. Oh, you know what? This doesn't count as a combat room, despite the fact that we've been fighting things. Of course. Well, we just fire him down there. Perfect. Is it, uh, is it possible to box one while they're jumping? Yes. It is. Demon chest, really? Interesting enough. Explosive barrels, not immune to explosions. Don't see why they would be. It's just kind of a bit of an interesting factoid there. Okay. So let's take out all of the boxes and barrels first. Unfortunately, this effectively means we just have to fight a whole, like, another wave of enemies on top of what we normally fight. If I get lucky, I can assassinate that one. The answer is no. Okay, that's fine. More boxes. And more slidey attacks. Now, if I'm lucky, the table is currently stupid. Table is stupid. Thank you, table. Okay. And we can just kick this one open. Glorious. Trejo! Oh, is it? It is just Trejos. I ain't re I'm not gonna regret this. Okay, so we've got... Ooh! Another anti-curse po potion. Okay, so that works gloriously for us. We got the other Trejo. Okay. So I can get rid of my curses. Oh, stay away from that. And kill these guys. Okay, so this means great things for me. Unfortunately, I don't know if my Dwarven Contraption chest uh, is affected by magic. I don't know that one. I really don't. Kind of wish I did. Be kind of a handy point, uh, point of information to learn. Let's just keep... Running and dodging. Now, the unfortunate part is I can't rely on my, um, the explosive barrels for, like, tactical advantages anymore. Which actually is kind of a shame. I really enjoyed that. It made, it made all of this just so much easier. In some ways. But then, you know, Curse of Animate had to come through and ruin everything. Oh, well. Could be worse. Okay. Jeez, how many enemies are going to be spawning in here? Too many, that's what. That's okay. I can just keep... I can just keep using and abusing. Wasteful strikes. Good to know. As long as none of these guys start lining up for a throw, we're pretty much safe here. And I really, really don't think they're going to be able to get to me because I keep using and abusing my stealth and stuff. Contraption is not affected by magic damage boosts. Shame. Ow! Got greedy. Oh well. We'll be okay. I guess the contraption really doesn't need to damage boost. I mean, it kills it kills whatever it hits, no matter what. It's just... Okay. So what I want to do... Knock a bunch of them out. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I've already taken damage. And we've got... We've got, um... Hmm. This health potion here. Let's roll away for a second. Fatigue, uh, stealth up. They're not going to be able to hit me in time. They're going to try, but they're not going to get it. Okay. I'm just going to go commit violence against their persons. A bunch. Perfect. Yeah, so as long as I'm able to get kind of the combo going, it's not so bad. Whew. You know what? Let's grab these throwing axes. The daggers are nice, but they're not useful. Barbarian axe, not great. Murky water looks suspicious. Grab this, and I believe Grandma's Woolly Socks does me no good. Ha! Use the scroll. Nah, I'm saving the scroll for later. Like when we're fighting against actually harmful things, and or the boss. Wait, I don't have curse- Oh, shoot! That only got rid of one curse. Really? I thought that potion got rid of all curses. I guess- that's the scroll. Never mind. Okay, that's a problem. Not much of one. We don't... I mean... Still a shame. Okay, this is concerning. This is, like, the Curse of Animation's best thing, though. I want to say... There is a... There's an upper limit on the amount of animated cre uh, things that can pop, pop up. Okay. 
I'm just gonna go for the the high damage approach. Now, I don't think I get the uh, health bonus from this room, because these aren't considered regular enemies that weren't here when I started. Which is a shame, because I'm totally fighting them. But I guess it would be really easy to farm for extra health with the Curse of Animation. Why are my enemies furniture? Because I pissed off Carpen the Carpenter Gods. That guy's face looks horrifying. Okay. So we can uncurse ourselves randomly of one curse. Unfortunately. I thought it would get rid of all of them. I really did. And it doesn't. It makes me sad. Oh well. I can deal with it. Let's just get away from Captain Explody and the uh, Bombernaut crew. Speaking of, good game. Kind of wish they had given me more copies. I asked for a bunch of copies of Bombernauts, and they're like, here's one, and I'm like, but this is an online multiplayer game, and I want to play with friends. Like, uh, there's a game that's coming out uh, soon, I think called, like, Sky Arena or something like that. Not entirely sure the name name of the game, but it is, it is going to be online come the early access release, and I can't wait. Because that means I'm going to be able to, you know, sit down and have a good old fun night with friends playing effectively competitive Star Fox. I hope it has, like, a co uh, cooperative campaign mode. That would be awesome. Chances are no dice, though. Just a bit of it bit of a sad thing. Oh well, could be worse. Uh, such a good month for games. Such a good year for games. I hope they come up with more good roguelikes though, that people actually care about. Alright. Because like, I played a lot of, I've played a lot of roguelikes lately. Like this one, for example, that just seems like the, the basic roguelike market has by and large ignored, which makes me sad. Because this game is really good. Like, a lot of people like Risk of Rain and whatnot. But, like, this game does pretty much everything that Risk of... Well, not even Risk of Rain. This thing takes, you know, all of the wonder of, like, Castle Crashers. And mixes it down into a very, very fun package. That's kind of a shame. Yeah. Curse of Animation has a cap on the current number of animated creatures. So, if, if you just break everything. Makes sense. Whoops. I actually forgot I had the Dwarven Contraption for a bit. Well, let's see what we get. Not a curse. Extra life? Hey! I love me some extra lives. I don't actually know what the thing I'm missing there is. Oh, well. Either way, I'm at 78 life. With three lives. Cool. Oh, why did the animation curse stay, but the demo man curse goes away? So I've got holy water, which apparently only affects one curse at a time. Shame. Don't know why. Either way. There, there are worse curses that could have kept around. I'm just hoping if I get Curse of Crank, I get rid of that one. Like, it would be cool if it gave you a little pop-up with your options. Okay, this... Actually a little bit concerning. This is kind of the perfect Trejo level. And there's a lot of Trejo. There's a lot of Trejo going around. Luckily... It's also the perfect... Oh. I was really... Oh. I was really hoping I'd actually be able to get that achievement for the axes. No dice. That didn't work. Okay, so we got a big guy. That's a problem. No Trejo. Damn it. Okay, we'll just go with what we can. I hate jump attacks. They're so fucking useless in this game. Like, it's comical how useless they are. Okay, at least we've got several Healy items that we can go back for if we need to. Okay. What I want to do is trap Trejo. This is not Trejo that we trapped. We assassinated him, though. Quick and dirty. Love it. Oh, God, how many enemies are going to spawn here? How many enemies? Because I, I want to take a big dude, but it's hard to do if you got all these guys. And I'm saving this scroll, because we're going to be fighting a boss next. And if I'm on... Actually, no matter what boss it is, actually, the dragon boss wouldn't be so bad. 
But the, um... Crap. We got the poison. I was looking to avoid that. They were ready for me. These guys are quick with their daggers, which I don't appreciate. Ah, uh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, I don't think I had a cure back the other way either. Come on. That's not as much damage as I wanted, but still. Give me another box victim. I kind of wish the box would impact on him and it, at the very least do damage. Okay, there's one down. Okay, there's two down? Nope. Still not dead. I'm gonna just keep using dash attacks. Seems like the best way to fight this guy. They're faster than me. Oh wait, no, everything is faster than me. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, so what do we get? Bunch of throwing axes. I can work with that. Get a Healy Potion. That's good. And let's go. Good luck for me. Good luck for me. Game total, 40 minutes. We haven't even fought the first boss yet. That again, I'm being really, really thorough with this. So first and foremost, it's this guy. So the nice thing is... We've got the Dwarven Contraption working for me here. Unfortunately, we've also got a lot of dudes. I'm gonna die. There's no healing here. And these guys do not have... I was holding left! Okay. Well, this is frustrating. Oh, what if I can... I can do this to take out these guys. It doesn't really help me that much. Ow, what? That doesn't help me either. There's some chicken, but that's not good. I don't know if that protects me against spikes, though. Oh, well. At least we can... Yep, nope, does not protect me against the ground spike attack. Okay, thought so. That sucks. Okay. So what I want to do... Take these things out. Stealth in. Hit him in the face. Unfortunately, this boss has a lot of health. And takes a very long time to kill. Ow, come on. At least we got an extra life. Oh, right. I forgot. Ow, come on. We don't have fire, though. That's the most frustrating thing. Can I hit him? Nope. Block, so I really have to hit him in the eye. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, stay away from the weird, weird globolds. Globoids? I don't even know. Okay. And keep my distance. Now, I know these guys drop health occasionally. But I'm not sure how to get it from them. Just keep clutch dodging and avoiding. And we can dash dodge to take out the pink guys. I know the spike wave will take care... Yep, take care of them. So I'm just going to stay here until it's over. I'm very glad we've got the magic carpet. Unfortunately, I'm really slow. Like, that's the unfortunate part of my current situation. Cause I don't have I don't have a solution to my speed. Ow. Come on. Didn't even let me get up. Fuck the timing on those spikes, man. Alright, we're down to one life. There's a bad fucking boss. No! Like, it's not a fun boss to fight already. 
Because, like, you take out his side things and it does nothing. And then he does stupid damage to you. You know what? Let's get rid of the contraption there. What does me, which does me next to no good, but it was better than its previous placement. Okay, let's just wait until that goes away. Come on. Almost got him down. Open your goddamn eye. Fuck. This. Boss. Okay. So that sucked. Okay, so we get small health potion. We get a bestiary. We get the bloodthirsty axe. I'll take it. We're not using the shield breaking. We get the ice patron. Slayer's heroic belt. No. And holy water. Actually... What does this one do? Random curse. Damn. I really wish we would get rid of all of them. Oh well. So we're kind of doghousey. Luckily the next boss isn't so bad. Hey Sigma. How's it going? Yeah, the problem is we just also don't do damage. So what curse have we got now? Oh, curse. Shrinky curse. Or shrinking disease. That's fine by me. Unfortunately, we're still low health. And the high, hard levels are up ahead. So that makes all of this a lot harder than I wanted to deal with. That said, we got a good axe. Comparatively. Because the shield breaker was kind of handy. But it wasn't enough that I wanted it that bad. Gotta just keep my health up. Luckily, we've got the uh, mystic jelly bean to keep us alive. Eat box. Thank you. Okay. Let's just chuck him against stuff and destroy him. Ah. Good night, Paho. Have a good one. So let's see what we got around here. Not much. Cheese. Cheese is good. I don't have to worry about a lot of things here. Ah, oh, crap. Fire dudes. Side bits are what spawn the enemies in large numbers. See, I, well, I realize that. They don't actually spawn the enemies in large numbers. They actually just spawn the little eyeball creatures. Now if I could... If I could not be small, that would be really helpful. Unfortunately, no dice. You know what? Let's contraption one of you. Nope. That did not contraption you. Let's contraption you. Thank you. Kill them both. Beautiful. All right. Trying really hard not to take too much damage here. Just defenestrate them. Well, it's not really defenestration, but still. Let's see. You said I would use the scroll in a boss fight. That's not a. That's not a boss that used the scroll on. Freezing any of that would have been meaningless because you can't freeze the, freeze the boss himself. Uh, so all you can do is um. All you could do is freeze like his little minions for a little while, which ultimately doesn't doesn't make any sense. There, I thought it was going to be the dragon, or the um, or the guy that shoots at the little like alien looking things. Because freezing those would be amazingly handy, because then you wouldn't have to deal with it again. Okay, let's grab this Elven Cure away the shrink, and keep going. I haven't gotten cursed again, and I think we only have a couple of. Well, we've got a fair amount of levels left, obviously. but not as many as you would think before the boss. I feel like the first half of the game is the slowest. Unfortunately, for me, first half of the game did not give me sufficient... Ow, come on. You can pick up the chairs. Wow. Didn't realize the chair would go just charging through everybody. That's useful. All right, let's grab the Healy Potion. I can take a couple of hits, but extra health would be really nice. I could get one of the Bee Knights. And just churn through people. Cool. Okay. Unfortunately, we've got more enemies incoming, but I've taken out all of the inanimates. Okay, that's good. 
And the inanimate objects make it a lot harder for me to... Make it a lot harder for me to, uh... Wow. This bloodthirsty axe is amazing. Fuck you. Wow, that, di that di did damage, though. He did not have his, uh... Aggro thing. Alright, good to know. Just beat the tar out of him. And run away. What's the ice thing floating near me? It's called the Ice Patron. It's a, uh, it's like a, it's like a bot from Risk of Rain, or pretty much any kind of, like, I guess if you're playing Binding of Isaac, it would be like Brother Bobby or Sister Maggie, but it's actually good. Doesn't do that much damage, but it freezes enemies for me. Which is amazing. Ah. <sighs> Now is this? Oh, hey. Killed it before it animated. Good. So we got the chicken. Chicken is absolutely prime. Uh, hailstorm. Tempting, but I really don't... I actually, you know what? Do I want a frost weapon? I don't know. That's an interesting question. I don't really have much of an answer there. Axe next time you get a room with that many enemies. You're correct. You are correct. I keep forgetting. The thing is, though... Okay, cold weapon. Drop axes on the sky when hit. Next, it deals massive damage. Okay. I'm gonna grab Hailstorm Storm for a second. This is gonna be really good against demons and familiars. Speaking of, I hope these things count as demons. Oh yeah. Count me in. Count this thing. Breaking in! Holy shit. This is actually really good. We got the weapon we needed. Those freezy axes are amazing. They really are. Because I attack so freaking fast. You get on the horizontal with me. You get the kaboosh. Kabosh. The freezing axe combo. Okay. So unfortunately we're getting a lot of enemies spawning here. But because we got the freezy business. And Bomberman there. We've actually got a fair amount of safety against this. And Bomberman keeps blowing it up. Admittedly it slows me down a little bit on the swinging. But still. It works for me. All I have to do is just keep standing here on the horizontal. Stay away from that. And just keep wailing on this thing until it's dead. There we go. Like, it even takes a... Oh, yeah. I'm not putting this weapon away again. Damn. Get horizontal with Wanderbot. Mmm, baby. Seriously, though. Frost weapons are amazing. And as far as I can tell, there's no enemy that specifically... Uh, suited against Frost like there's no enemy that takes less damage from Frost, so that's really good. Maybe the um artificial looking night guys They might they might have it. I don't know yeah, The I think spawn enemies. That's why I go like really hard on killing them I've been I, I've got like 20 episodes on this game. Actually. No, I've got more than that Okay, so we do have to worry about frost man. Yep, it's ineffective against him So we're gonna do less damage to frost frosty baby here Luckily, we're going to do extra damage against literally everything else. Oh, come on. Just die before you can ice wave. At least the ice wave damages other people. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I really hate throwing weapons sometimes in this game, especially with Curse of Darkness. Did we? Nope. We picked up a random potion. Okay, come on. Ow. Did he die? I think he's dead. Okay, so I got that going for me. Okay. Why do enemies have a longer range than I do? I don't like that. Okay, Frost Giant thing from last night was immune to freezing. Ah, you're right. There was one. They're just really rare. Rare enemies. Okay. Let's grab this. Well, that was good timing with the Dwarven Contraption. I know I'd probably do just as much damage if I didn't chuck it, but it feels really satisfying to do so. Okay. Okay. We got 80 health. That's good, at least. Now, how are we gonna do this? Can I contraption him? I don't know. I really want to contraption one of these 
one of these guys. Oh, good. We got the one with a shield. Okay. Freeze for me. I don't do a whole lot of damage here. Okay, take up one of the exploded guys. Oh, interesting. If you freeze them, they don't do their exploded retribu retribution attack. Cool. No. No, sir. Okay. Just keep... Just keep using what I can. Doing what I can. Not dying. No, uh, I think... Come on. I think kicks and stuff don't trigger the frost move, which is unfortunate. But still. Okay. So, I'd like to get more HP. Unfortunately, we're fighting a lot of just really shitty rooms. Filled with enemies. Like, the amount of enemies in this game that it's throwing at us. Like, insane mode. No joke. Okay, come on. Okay, we're actually dying here. Okay. Keep it up. Maybe I should have gone with Gold Jaw. We're not really using our money for really anything here. No kicks. It is, they're still shoving more enemies down my throat. I really wish the infusion was actually a thing in this game. I mean, we've got the magic jelly bean, which is about the same, but still. Come on, die. Man, I don't do a whole lot of damage here. And these guys have a lot of health. Okay. I'm worried about this knight dude. I don't know if, if and when he's going to come out swinging. Okay. Goody. Let's just make sure we don't die a la freaky box creatures. There we go. So what do we got here? We got armor. We got the sword, which might even be better than the axe. We got a demon potion, which is risky. So leather armor is cheap. How much money do we have? Lots. So let's go with freezes enemies in a room in the room on kill. I'm gonna go with that. I'm going to reluctantly go with this. Curse animate. Okay. What did I just get as an effect? Oh, mini demon. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll buy the leather armor. Hmm. I think we'll be okay. Unfortunately, it's on the on-kill effect. It's a little bit concerning for me. But I attack really fast with this sword. So with luck, I can just kind of go wailing on people. And it'll just freeze them progressively. And then I just keep wailing. The problem is when I can't kill anybody. But right now, it does look like I've just got this guy permanently frozen. Actually, we should probably go for the Bee Knight. Bee Knight will, uh... Be a potential source of harm. Okay, then we've just got Frosty the Armor. Yay! HP! And we go on to the next zone. Good! Okay, we're not terribly cursed yet. Let's hope it keeps giving us just non-concerning... Curses. Hey, it's the explosive barrel thing again. I missed it. So I do have to worry about some of the exploding... Oh, come on. It must have ran out while I wasn't watching. Okay, so the unfortunate part is... We're good. Apparently that guy on the ground can't get... Didn't get frozen? Not sure how that happened. Oh, well. Yeah, so as long as I'm careful here, we are good to go, because I can just go on an unholy rampage and just keep fighting forever. And do a lot of damage, too. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, is there a gold coin? No, there's a gold coin up by that chair. I thought it was on top of 
other stuff. Okay. I've got a lot of cursive animation running around here. Wow, that was effective. So let's just keep our distance. I'd love to be able to hit these guys with the explosive barrel. No dice. Okay. Come on, just die for me. Oh, interesting. Uh, throwing deaths don't count as, uh... Don't, don't count for the freezing effect. That makes sense, though. Jeez, these guys have a lot of HP. Big, freaky meat creatures have lots of HP. I will keep that in mind. Either that or they take half damage from Frozen. No, they take they take the same number as usual. I don't know. Uh, throwing daggers. Nope. The de the axes are perfect. Okay, our health is looking good. Our armor's got two more charges. Demon armor would be amazing right now. Chances of this happening? Low. Okay. So I've got... I got freezing. That's good. I can also kick people into the... into the hole if I want to. Stomping does not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Oh well. We've got a lot of murder here and it keeps these guys frozen. I picked the right weapon. The falling axes is handy, but not enough to make it worthwhile. Okay. Not a whole lot of people on tonight, but then again it's a Wednesday night. Go figure. It's gonna be quiet. School, whatnot. Where am I going? Oh, the plus around enemies' heads mean they have double HP. Ooh, that explains things. I get the feeling that Frosty, the, the axe-looking guy... Or, er, uh, Toasty, the, uh, knight-looking dude. There we go, finally got that achievement. Okay. Problem is, Curse of Darkness makes it very hard, comparatively. No, he still takes full damage. Okay, good to know. Freeze for me! Oh god! So as long as I can keep murdering these guys, we're good. Just keep dying for me. Just keep freezing for me. Did I? Oh, I, I took damage there, but since we've got fucking armor... This is dumb. Unfortunately, I'm relying on the freeze effect just a little bit too much, comboed with my fast attack speed. Not great. Getting smacked around a bit. That said, HP is doing okay, weirdly enough. Okay, I'd like to take out Captain Poison Dagger there. Got him. Took long enough. This Curse of Darkness is annoying. But could be worse. Okay. We've got a large group of dudes. Perfect. I don't know what I killed there, but I will take it. I will take it, and I will use it to the best of my abilities. Which is lots of death. Okay, cool. How many enemies does it feel like just throwing at me? Cripes. The answer is too many. The answer is really way too many. Let's go for this guy first. Though, unfortunately, doing the, uh, the toss attack actually actually breaks them out of ice. I have to keep that in mind. Yeah, well, we've got the, uh, we've got the perk for the axes. Unfortunately, that doesn't give me a hat, but it doesn't give me extra damage on throwing, so that's kind of nice. Man. Too many enemies, though. Especially for my meager amount of health. Gotta watch out for that cacodemon looking dude. If I can take that out. Nope. Don't know if that counted. Oh, maybe the animated dudes don't count for the freezy effect. Nope. Totally counts. Okay. Come on, die, you freaking demon creature. I swear the demons are supposed to take extra damage from ice. They, If they do, it really isn't that apparent. Either that or they have an insane amount of health. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, really. 
Glad I haven't blown myself up yet. Floored that I haven't, honestly. Okay, keep taking them out. Okay, room is now frozen. There we go. Now let, let me guess. Oh, this one's not gonna an animate on me. All right. Is that it? We good? Nope, we're not done yet. We've got Captain Knight Chill Man here. Come on, you're the only person, only person left. And we get the HP. That was a hard fight. Very close quarters. But I wizarded it. Okay, so we could get the demon armor. Fuck yeah. We can get the paladin's belt. Goodbye, Swordmaster. Hello, I can see things now. And or his exotic beast, Jerry. Okay, we get that. And flame bridge. Slow. Don't want it. Okay. So we are no longer cursed. My eyes actually feel so much better. I'm gonna miss the swordsman belt, but you know what? Freedom of, from curses is just such a benefit. Why is this room dark? Oh, you know what? It's prob- no? Maybe that room's just automatically dark. I don't know. But yeah, no more explodey barrels. No more animated things. That means far less enemies to fight in a given room. Good! Kill the candlestick with muscle arms. Hell yeah! You mean I'm not supposed to? God. This is going to suck a bit. I'm trying to decide how to go about this one. Using the freezy effect might not be a bad move. Okay, got to watch out. Got to watch out for damage here. We got demon armor, but it doesn't last. It's only got three charges. And it's going to take me a long time before I kill any of these suckers. I'll do what I can. Oh, I killed one of them. Good. Might have assassinated him. Assassinated him. There we go. Okay, so assassinations are glorious. No freezy effect for you. So yeah, I don't swing as fast or as hard as I used to, but we're okay. Okay, glorious. Demon armor persists, and that means as long as I've got demon armor on and don't lose it, that also means that I will not... Uh, lose my magic bean healing move. And I can just freeze this guy until the day is done. He's getting set on fire probably from the mini demon. Damn. I'm a sh veritable smorgasbord of effects. Great. Okay. Well. We might actually be in insane mode tonight. No, these guys, these guys are faster than normal. I kind of wish I could see the- I- I'd seen these effects more often. They're kind of an uncommon thing. Which is weird. Like, you'd, you'd think you'd see more enemies with the speed boost and stuff. I wonder if they're new. I don't know. Wow, this is so much easier. Without all of the, uh, all of the barrels and boxes trying to come murder me. But yeah, no, Curse Immunity is a must if you can get your hands on it. And I did! Oh, give me a place I can spend my money. It's been a while. And I've got a lot of money to spend. I look like, uh... I look like somebody's grandfather, like, wealthy grandfather decided to, uh, go raid a dungeon. And has also no fashion, fashion sense. I've got green pants, a blue belt, red armor, uh, a gold hat, money glasses. Like, I am... I am the the tackiest fellow you will ever see, probably in your given life. And I'm totally okay with that. I don't care too much about the cheese. I think we're good. Okay. Wow. Despite the, um... Despite the, uh, demon armor, I'm still sitting at 70 HP. That means I got 90 base. 92. Dang. Only buffs are in certain rooms with enemy spawns. Health are from the nurses. Oh, okay. Well, screw the nurses then. Those things are tough. Make everything else harder too. I wonder if the uh, buff stacks like progressively. That'd be even worse. I look amazing. Yeah, I'm damn better. So we gotta we gotta be real close. We gotta we gotta be damn close to the end of the game. 
Probably after Gothic. So my worry, my one worry is ass disease. Ass disease is going to be a bit of a net, a uh, bit of a mess. Now this is going to be Altar of the Ancient Righteous Strike. Oh, what does Righteous Strike do? Crit chance plus fifty percent for the next seven rooms. Dang. Thank you, Altar, Altar of the Ancient. I'm glad I do not have Banana Rama disease. Though actually, the banana, uh, the banana doesn't doesn't affect you if you've got the uh, magic carpet. So what do I care? Freeze and murder. Avoid, freeze, and murder. Avoid, freeze, murder. Rinse, repeat until the day is done. Unfortunately, he's going to. Wait, what if I can. Yep, okay. I was really hoping I could. Uh, I was really hoping I could use. I was really hoping I could use the. Um... Oh, what's it attack? The, the Dwarven Contraption against him. Actually, you know what? We're in a position at this point that the, the Dwarven Contraption is less effective than it used to be. Oh, apparently we killed something. Cool. I was worried about my armor there. But I think we're okay. But yeah, as long as my armor is good... Oh, crap. Just summon a nurse. Fuck the nurses, man. Now, do the nurses give them extra itch? Extra HP? Or do they heal them? They give them extra HP. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Thank everything. You know what? Let's box up one of those nurses. Let's see if I can murder this one. There we go. Okay. Ineffective against the frost. But that's not the end of the world. Honestly, I can kind of let the frost kill everything for me. It's just, it's a slightly more dangerous version of the uh, bomber knights. Bomber dudes. How does the demon armor work? Demon armor is minus 20 health while you wear it, I think? Just while you wear it? I'm not entirely sure. But, um... But, it has three charges on it, and as long as you've, uh... As long as you haven't... Uh, as long as you don't break it, every time you get a kill, it refreshes its its uh, durability, which is amazing. Okay, I do feel a little bit cheap with all this freezing and armor. Like, I am largely unkillable here, which is so nice. Oh, the freezing effect uh, counts against the jelly bean. I think. I have to look up the exact effects of the jelly bean. Still have yet to run into an enemy that's specifically... Resistant against freezing. Except for this bastard. At least he hurts himself with his own... Own frost rocks. Which is handy. Just gotta deal with everything else. Yeah, I think getting frozen... Works against you with the jelly bean. Either that or the jelly bean is... Always, like... Triggers no matter what, if you, as long as you've gotten hit, regardless of whether or not you take damage. But I think, I think it doesn't trigger if you haven't taken damage. Where is he? Oh crap! Yeah. I actually didn't know he could shoot from left to right. Should be obvious, but I've never seen him do that before. Usually, because I'm on the right side of the screen for whatever reason. Hey, Wolfram Tamer, how's it going? Okay, well, we're fine. Still no healing. And now we're poisoned. Oh, crap. We're about to lose our armor. Oh, we just got one back? What? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, our armor is good. Really, all I care about is keeping this armor up. Up until the final boss. Once, we, once I've got it up... Uh, once I've got to the final boss, then we have nothing to worry about. Luckily, the uh, undead summoning guy... Did that give me the health? No, it didn't. Okay. Goblin wares. Ooh, okay. So we can get firecrackers, immunity to explosions, heals on fire, immunity to fire, or a sword. The elven sword. Fast. No. 
was really hoping for some pets here, honestly. Because none of those boots are good. If we were still running Curse of Explosions, that'd be good. But I, I like this because this means I don't have to worry about chests. Or traps, though I don't think traps hurt me. But yeah, I can just immediately kick open chests and stuff. I'm just gonna kick him in. Goodbye. No one loves you. Jeez, that was a lot of explosions for whatever reason. Alright. So here's the question. I haven't taken any special effects yet. Am I going to get the bean effect? Or not? Okay, so... Bean effect is only... Only happens... If I don't get hit at all. Okay. Eh, whatever. As long as I can keep my armor up, I don't care. So Crusader Sword. Killing a demon removes a curse. That's amazing. Small health potion. Does me no good. Thief's mask. There we go. And the heroic plate mail. Would be kind of useful if I wasn't already me. So that, that sword would be awesome. But... Like, specifically for this, this type of run. But... Not awesome for me. So here's the question. Franken dude. Yep, Franken dude can and will murder himself. Good to know. I didn't know if they would do that or not. But I'm glad they do. Because they will they will try and jump on you no matter where you are on the map. That's fun. I like that. I like that a lot. They are very consistent. If stupid. Same thing with the Charger guys, I guess. I didn't know if they'd wait for you to be on a solid landable surf surface, though. And the answer is... Well, shit. This is going to be a b bit of a problem. This guy is very much immune to my frosty... Frosty nonsense. Which is rough. I don't have any throwing weapons. Did I just get no throwing weapons? Yeah, I do no damage to him. No, I do frost damage to him. He's just not freezable. Wow. Can you say broken? Because I can. Because, yeah, poison doesn't work against undead. Actually, does he take extra from Frost? I don't know. As long as he doesn't... He does take a lot more damage from Frost than... Weird. I really wish hitting him with the contraption would slow him down at the very least. Oh, well. I like it how I've, I've only added to the mystique of how stupid I look right now. I've got a thief mask on top of Money Vision. It's great. Giant looks like a Spider-Man villain. Yeah, he does. Do totally looks like, um... The lizard guy from the most... The first movie of the remake. Reboot? I don't know. Okay, curse failed, curse immunity. Glorious. So we are... Almost good to go. The only fear is... I have... I have to kill... The boss... On one life. Yes, I forgot I'm poisoned, so I take damage here. We might as well heal through it. So I got the Freezy Scroll. I don't have any ranged weapons. Now, I can use and abuse stealth and some other things against him. Hmm. He's freezable. Uh... Wow. So he's freezable. Is he freezable like this? No. That's a shame. But that's also amazing. So that makes the most dangerous phase of this guy, for me, a cakewalk. Now, we're not immune to... We're not immune to his attacks in flying mode, but flying mode is kind of just a service. Why is the last boss easier than the first bosses? Somebody want to explain that one to me? Okay, we're about to lose our armor. We need to kill some dude. Just 
gonna stay away from us for a second. Got him. All right. Oh, it only gets me one more, one more charge. I thought it just refreshed it all, but no, it just gets you one more charge every time you kill a dude. All right. You know what? I can work with that. It's still a very, very frustratingly like, slow fight. Yeah, that lizard guy took took extra damage from frost. He was immune to freezing, but he took more damage from cold. That's amazing. I'm never gonna be able to hit that little guy. Oh yeah, it's breaking breaking off of his ass. I was wondering about that one. Thank you. Took it long enough. Yeah, they have about 20 HP. Fun fact. Okay. Let's grab this and ride, you know, this to glory. Jeez, I am the full package right now. I got a magic carpet, even though it's sailing beneath the trees. I've got a chicken following me around, a little mini demon looking thing. I've got, oh, this is just nonsense. Unfortunately, I've never, I never gained, okay. We do have to worry about my armor a little bit here. At least killing these guys is fairly easy. But I'd prefer to I'd prefer to save it just in case. We're not missile immune here. Missile immunity was glorious. Now that was the height of scumbaggery for this final boss segment here. Because yeah, you just don't take damage from it. Makes me want to go play Steridon. Which I believe comes out of early access in a couple of days. I think. Hard to tell. I have a lot more stuff than when I fought the first boss. This is true, but, like, even then, like, you should kind of take that into account. That said, this is probably one of the easiest... Yep. Alright, uh, easiest fights I've ever had. I don't know. I guess the first one was really easy. And then you get to the shmup section, and it's just like, what were you trying to make with this game? I'm not entirely clear. I really wish I could set him on fire. I know my demon can, but I think I'm out, largely out of range. And his aim sucks. Which is a bit of it. Did that dragon just disappear on me? It did. Weird. Alright. Okay, gotta worry about that just for a second. Yeah, so I can swing my sword at these guys. It doesn't freeze them, unfortunately. But if I'm directly beneath them, then we're good anyway. Oh, crap. My armor is going fast. Okay, we're good. Just keep shooting. We'll have it, we'll have it back. We'll have it safe. Unfortunately, I have a particularly large hitbox here. Yep, my armor my armor is still strong. There we go. Boss still has a lot of HP, and I don't want to really be near him for a sword strike. I don't even my sword strikes don't even do a whole lot of damage here. So the the benefit of sword striking enemies not exactly particularly high. Okay. We got this in the bag. This is a very easy shmup, honestly. Especially after that freaking Griffin Rider looking game. That was rough. Ow. Good timing with a dragon-looking thing kill. Okay. Watch your eyes wander. Watch your eyes and murder away. But yeah, after a certain amount of stared in, this sort of thing just becomes comical. I can imagine somebody that's, like, not, not versed in shmups just being like, this is a nightmare. And not being used to it. But honestly, like, com I mean, I have taken a lot of damage here. That could have actually been a bit... Could have actually been a serious problem for me. Like watching chat, it's not a good plan. There we go. Okay, I got a HP container. That said, for the amount of damage I take, I'm probably okay. Like, I don't take a whole lot, and these guys do drop a lot of HP containers. So we got that going for us. Okay, went underneath that one. Okay, there we go. He's almost dead. He's going berserk. Oh, he drinks from, like, his alchemical potion-looking thing. Okay. Weird. 
hard dude to hit right now. Luckily, he runs into all of my fireballs on the way down. So that's useful. Challenge completed. King! Okay, so that's that's insane mode. That means we can go back to hard mode for a little while, complete all the other classes, and then go check out the final difficulty. Unfortunately, that's still going to take a lot of time. So that means I have to beat the game in hard mode uh, with all the character classes. Which ain't great. Because I'm only really good with a couple of them. Specifically, we're going to have a problem with Battle Mage, because god damn, it's awful. Alright, how many challenges do I have left? Not many. Hope they have more. Yeah, Jack of all trades. We've only done one. Man of War. Missing one. Through the Looking Glass. Gonna take a while to get there. I don't know if I'll ever do No Time to complain. Uh, explain. Maybe on casual mode. I could probably do that, do that then. Uh, that would probably work out fine. Okay, I'll be back. Gotta do that on casual mode? No, harder, harder. That'd have to be cooperative with the Warlock. Black Widow, gonna take a while. I don't use a whole lot of poison. Oh, probably should look into it. Wanderer's going to 100% a game. I tend to 100% my roguelikes if I can. Never gonna be able to get that one up, but that's okay. That just makes it stay up longer. I think it does actually give me bonus damage, but still. Man. Six more chests. I wonder if the boots don't count, and I don't know how I'm ever going to get hi-ho, hi-ho. Maybe you can farm a level on casual mode. Don't know. Cheat the devil, that'll be a while, misfortunate, don't know what, which one I'm missing. Okay, still, we're doing gloriously. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of ah, Rampage Nights. And as always, thanks for watching.